Hey guys, welcome back! In this video, I'll be aligning the main triangle of the frame I've been building in this series. I'll also be talking a bit about how important uh, alignment is, you know, like what kind of tolerances are considered acceptable, that sort of stuff. And I'll be showing a few mods I made to the alignment table. So before we get started here, I need to scratch an itch. One of you guys sent a message asking if the table bent from the last time I used it. And uh, this has been on my mind too, so I decided to test it. I put the height gauge on there and I ran it across and the plate is indeed still flat. So to double check my work, I put a piece of extrusion into the bottom bracket post, clamped it down in there, and then I uh, took my height gauge out and took a measurement. And you can see here it's a little low and that's because of the weight of the extrusion, it was sagging down a bit. So I flipped it and taking another measurement and you can see it's a little low again. It's the same amount, which is great. So all is well. Okay, now for the mods. So first up, the base of the bottom bracket post. When I made it, I faced the bottom flat, but I want to do one more thing to improve how it sits on the table. So I faced a relief towards its center and left out about uh, left about 10 millimeters of the outer diameter untouched. I did this to ensure that the post has no chance of rocking on its base. Next up is the securing nut. I drilled a portion of the threaded part away. I did that because when I was screwing the nut on and off, it would simply fall off. So now with a portion of the threaded part removed, the nut can just sit on there and not fall off. And for the last modification, you can see here when I'm securing the frame, uh, it's kind of a mess. It's uh, wiggling all around and I gotta hold it and it just does not secure easily. So I made a sleeve to make the frame behave while on the post. Alright, let's align this frame. Alright, so I'm checking the C tube and you can see it's low by about four millimeters. And so what I'm doing is I'm putting an arrow to show that it's low. And I'm now putting it on the frame jig because I'm curious to see if it is also um, favoring the right side and it is. So that's actually good news. It means the jig is not causing it to um, favor the right side. Okay, alignment time. Before I get into it, I want to throw a shout out to Joe Roganbuck of Cobra Frames. He pointed out some good alignment references and had some good tips. Thank you, Joe. Also, uh, thanks to folks who commented and brought up some great points of discussion. So, uh, you can see here that we're dealing with a frame that has its main triangle completely welded. And uh, this is not the best stage to check alignment. The best time to start aligning is when you're first tacking the frame from the very first tubes. For example, after tacking your C-tube and bottom bracket. The idea is to start aligning early so so that as you lay welds, you're welding a frame that is uh, pretty much already aligned and um, you're minimizing the need to align the frame later when it's much, much harder to bend those tubes. Okay, next, what is good enough for alignment? I'd say five millimeters and I'm kind of pulling that out of my butt, but uh, I don't think anyone would notice a frame that was five millimeters out of alignment. I can say like my whole life, I've never noticed any frame out of alignment. And 
I mean, I've never really thought about it while riding, but um, then again, if you don't notice, you don't notice. So um, the industry standard is somewhere around two millimeters. So let's say you've uh, finished a frame and you check alignment and you notice that it's roughly two to five millimeters out of alignment. What do you do? I think it really comes down to your comfort zone. So like five millimeters, I might try and get it closer, but three, I don't think I would. I think I would just leave three millimeters out. I'd just leave that alone. Uh, forcing a frame to bend is never a good thing, so yeah, so if you can get away with not doing that, then yeah, then don't do it. So uh, to recap, I think uh, tack in the line as you go, and when you're done, if it's within three millimeters, I think that's acceptable. But outside of that, it it's really up to you and what you feel like you can live with. Oh man, did I bend that a lot. So let that be a lesson on what not to do. Don't wait to the end and uh, start aligning. Start aligning as soon as you can. Okay guys, that wraps things up. I'll have some links and resources in the description. So if you're interested, check those out. And in the next video, back to welding the actual frame. Be sure to drop in for that. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.